everyone, Sean Clement here. Wisdom in Golf for Golf WRX. We got a special treat for you this week. For those of you who have uh, injuries in your lead side, we're gonna do trail side next week, okay? But for lead side, hip replacements, knee replacements, um, you know, arthritic hips and knees, uh, damaged ligaments, uh, I've got a fantastic session for you right here. Uh, you'll notice that your brain is an unbelievable problem-solving machine and you still need to survive. It's going to find a way for you to survive and thrive even though you've got these, you know, slight deficiencies. So, again, if I was to skip a stone on water, even with my, my bad lead side, I'm looking at the pond the first thing my brain's going to do is going to go deposit a nice, you know, platform on my lead side to get me ready to clear my body. Why? Remember, shoulders only have 20 degrees of range. So I, if I don't move my body out of the way, I have no access to the target. So the brain, knowing that we got to go this way, has to get a platform and it's going to use that platform to get you out of the way. It's just going to be a little slower, that's all. No big deal. You're still going to get to enjoy skipping stones on the pond. So, there it is. And it will find a way to clear the best way it knows how, and everything else will adjust in the process, as long as you don't do it with any kind of strain. So on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being you're going to throw your arm out or pop a rib, you want a three. So a nice, easy skip of that stone and so that you feel that you could do it all day despite that, you know, slight deficiency. So if I'm throwing the club in that direction, so throwing the club, have a look at throwing the club, Sean Clement and throw the club straight, Sean Clement. Very, very important one for alignment purposes so that you're not throwing behind you or over your head and back uh, into the villas. You wanna feel that you're gonna throw your club in the proper direction. So, I see where I wanna throw. I got my intermediate point right here and I'm throwing towards my academy building here. So, throw it toward the building. Throw it towards the building and then your brain is going to tell you, well, you know, I feel like I could do it better from a little bit more of a diagonal stance, or I feel like I can do better from a slightly more open stance. So your brain will tell you what it feels better with in order to throw in that direction. Not a textbook and an opinion, but you, you're the only person who knows. Your task, however, is to throw the club in that direction. So I feel that with my setup, that feels like I have beautiful access to my building and off the club goes right on my building. So extremely happy about that. So if you look at, you know, in slow motion of that one and you, you put that frame by frame, you'll notice there's fantastic shift, beautiful clearance, and then there's this beautiful lag going in there and my brain knows exactly when to let go of the club because I have a target. So I get over here and I'm gonna do a little prediction. If I throw, I miss, okay? So if I throw the club and don't let go, throw it out there towards the building. Yes, I threw it toward the building and boy, that feels solid. It feels like my hip and my knee are underneath me and I'm not, firing everything out from underneath me and my brain is telling me how this system is going to get that task accomplished so you be in a listening mode you don't tell what the body you know with the body parts to do that's that's your first step to disaster okay so I'm throwing over there if I throw over there I miss yes I threw over there yes I missed if I throw over there I top if I throw over there, I cut grass, which means I'm going to hit the ball solid. Okay, so we're going to throw over that intermediate point towards the building. I'm throwing over there. I'm throwing over there. So that ball takes off beautifully just to the right of the building and draws nicely right back to it. 
So you can see that my kinetic chain engaged. It can engage um, a little more aggressively, a little less aggressive, depending on what's going on. Now a wonderful drill to really feel like you're engaging it gently and that you're not going to uh, fire something out of sequence is the walking drill. So on our premium channel, we got this fantastic, you know, walking drill in detail where we're walking and cutting grass. So the task is cutting grass with our tool. So I'm just gonna cut some rows here. I'm swinging back and forth and I'm letting the sole of the club brush the grass in both directions. Look at that. So it wants to pass there every time. So now I'm gonna cut my rows. Cut the next row. Cut the next row, next row, next row, next row, next row, next row. So look how nice and tidy my rows are while I'm doing that. And in the meantime, while I'm cutting my rows, my brain is formulating the way to step forward, engaging my kinetic chain at 40 million bits of information per second. It knows exactly what to do. So if, I, if my job was to do this all day, well, I wouldn't be yanking and shoving that club back and forth like a pit bull with a rag doll. I'm gonna let the weight of the arms fall through the cut. Fall through, fall. There we go, fall, 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 fall. So my brain is saying, I need to step that much to cut my next row. And because it sees the rows being cut, then I need to step that much to cut my next row. That much to cut, that much to cut, that much to cut, that much to cut. And I'm just having a wonderful meditation session here, just cutting my grass with the sole of the club. So I'm gonna do that coming up to the ball here. I'm, I got my intermediate point. And that's uh, just on the left side of the building. So I'm gonna nudge that over a little bit. Right on the building, fantastic. So now I'm gonna cut my rows all the way through the ball. Cut, 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 cut. Cut, beautiful. Everything right in the center of the green. Beautiful contact with the golf ball not trying to hit anything. And I, I was finding my way to the ball with the different rows. So there's my first, second, third, fourth, and then the fifth one is right through that dandelion stem. So when you're gingerly taking your steps into the shots, well now let's do a little stationary walk. Plant swing, plant swing. Plant, let it cut, plant, let it cut. Plant, let it cut, plant, let it cut. So you see how the weight comes back to that leg? And you'll see just how key the weight shift happens from one leg to the next in our next week's episode when we talk about how to come off the trail side. If you've got a, you know, a, a trail side that's got a hip replacement, knee replacement, or injuries here, and you feel, you think that you're having a hard time firing off that side where it's really not the case. There's no firing that comes off that side. And we'll see, you, you guys are gonna get to see how that works. So right now I'm in my stationary walk. Johnny Miller used to talk about how he started his swing by planting his right foot. So I'm in my follow through. I'm in my back swing. I'm in my follow through. Back swing, follow through. So I'm in a wonderful stationary walk through my shot right into the center of the green again. And look at my finish. See how my left foot is nice and flat on the ground. It feels like I could stay here all day because there's no strain or stress through that left leg and into my finish. Now, if you feel that you can't finish on it, remember Jack Nicklaus in his prime? You would see him go after a shot and fall back. Well, that's extremely sound anatomically as far as this machine is concerned because you notice as I'm walking, plant walk, I have to make the next step. So as my arms are on this side of my body, there's more weight over here. 
now I can take a step with my right. Well, the weight's going from the inside of my left back to my right from behind. I'm actually falling that way to shift my weight to prepare for my next swing. Because as a human being on the planet, our center of gravity is our centermost point right here. We have equal weight up and down, front to back and side to side. If I want to make a step, I got to take a, a, a fall forward. So as I fall forward, I catch myself. I just went down. Then the swing of the arms pulls me back up and I can take my next step. So the weight shift actually happens from behind. So a good way to do that is, and a really cool drill is perform two swings to hit your shot. I'm going to hit the shot with my first one and then I'm going to continue into my second one and then come out of my shot where I'm not finishing on my left side. So here we go. Plant, let it swing, plant, let it swing, plant, let it swing, plant, let it swing, relax. <laughs> Another shot in the center of the green. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's a real sweet little drill right there that's really going to help you out. Give your brain the task. It knows the path of least resistance. It knows what you have. Just give it a simple task. I want to throw the club over there and let the brain figure out how it's going to do that work and then go with it. Get better with it. Become an expert at throwing the club with that and you'll, you're going to enjoy your golf to the, to the ninth degree. All right? Enjoy that. We'll see you next week.